All right, so you're gonna have to forgive me if I look a little gaunt and uh, a little exhausted. It's because it is cutting season. I've been practicing a new form of sleep, actually, and I'm gonna be making a video on that because I believe it's uh, quite relevant to crap hits the you-know-what. But I wanna talk a bit today about prepping in relationships and something that I had said in a recent video I made regarding my separation uh, I just want to clarify some things with regards to the cause of that without, you know, compromising the privacy of myself or my ex. So, contrary to somewhat popular belief, the reason for our separation had nothing to do with prepping. Even though we had a distinct set of interests along those lines in that I was the guy who was, you know, everything had to be functional, everything had to be useful to some degree any purchase that i made you know i have prepping survivalism in mind when i make that purchase whereas she like i think i can say this without being too stereotypical uh, most modern wives aren't really of that mentality when they're going to buy a couch or a television set or even select a house you know in terms of uh, selecting a house which is very secure, you know, how many windows are there, is there a lot of obstructions uh, in front of the house, because of course if you have too many trees and obstructions in front of your house, it's basically providing cover for people who might want to break and enter into your home. When we were initially looking for houses, one of the things, and I think this is a, a guy thing, is that we always try to maximize the amount of space. So I absolutely can't stand high ceilings because I think about all the space that's being wasted. So that's just a little example of that. But even though prepping wasn't her thing, she actually found a lot of security in knowing that I was of the preparedness mindset and in knowing that we had those provisions and the knowledge and the skill sets there needed if things ever went south because I'm the person who's thinking more on a worldly basis she was far more localized and in that way we kind of complemented each other her strengths in knowing the surrounding community the surrounding people being more extroverted complemented my introverted global awareness if you will contrary to being the Canadian prepper you'd think that all I do is eat sleep and drink prepping but the truth is, is that it comprises a relatively small portion of my life. Except when, you know, I'm doing the YouTube thing, I'm doing the Canadian Preparedness Store now, which really uh, was part of the reason why a lot of this went down. Uh, just the fact that, you know, doing this is my passion. But at the same time, I'm a rational person and I know it's very silly just because 90% of businesses do fail It'd be very silly to leave a professional career where I have great benefits, I make a decent wage. It would be very silly for me to sacrifice that all on some chance at making a run at CanadianPreparedness.com, the Canadian Prepper channel, which, you know, the way YouTube is nixing channels nowadays, who knows, I might do something that they think crosses the line at some point or may ha already have and they might retroactively go back to some of my older videos and say, hey, you shouldn't have did this, you know, here's one, two, three strikes, you're out type thing. So anything can happen. And because of that, I've been working double time. I've been working a lot. And you can't give up your passions. I shouldn't say you can't, but it's my belief that you only live once. And I love the job that I have, my professional career as a mental health counselor. I go into work and it's like I'm not even at work. You know, I, I really enjoy the work. But a greater passion for me is being out there in the wilderness, learning new skills, honing my emergency preparedness knowledge and conveying that to you in a way which is palatable and easy to watch. So the message I wanna to convey to you is that it's my belief based on my experience that the person you meet, if you're a person of the preparedness mindset, uh, number one, it's not something like, you know, hi, my name's such and such, I'm a prepper, like a, like you have to really put that label on yourself. I know this is contradictory coming from a person who describes as an alias the Canadian prepper, but 
it doesn't have to be something that defines your life. You can still go out, go on trips with your family, uh, go to restaurants, live life as it was intended to be lived. But at the same time, you can have this. If you want to call it a hobby, that's fine. Some people take issue with calling preparedness a hobby. I don't. It's a functional hobby if there ever was one. Especially when you mix that with like a bushcraft aspect. I think where preparedness may be a negative factor for some people is when you take it too far and you make it the focal point of your existence. I think that it should only comprise a very small percentage of your day-to-day -day activities, unless you're like myself and you have a store called Canadian Preparedness and you have a YouTube channel and all the rest. Then obviously a bigger chunk of your day is gonna be devoted to these sort of things. But if you're just a person who's working and you watch my channel a little bit, you might watch a few other people's channels. You don't have to fully obsess about this and bring your family into that obsessive world, worrying and paranoid that something is imminently going to happen. Uh, absolutely, things could happen. I talk about the multitude of things that could go wrong on this channel all the time, and it's always good to be prepared for those things. And that's never something I had a problem with doing. I can easily block out everything I know. Well, not everything I know, you wanna be situationally aware, but I can easily block out all of the dark prophecies and predictions of the future that I've exposed myself to, the various ways, you know, society is seems at this point bound to collapse or be teot walkied it's easy for me to block that out and just go and live life. You know, go to the park with the kids, uh, go on a camping trip with a family, go stay at a fancy hotel. It's important that you're able to do those things. Now, I think if you can do that, your relationship will be successful. As long as you're not taking it through the level of, you know, running a drill once or twice a week. I mean, maybe if that fits into your schedule and you live on a homestead and you got a lot of time to spare, sure, run a drill, run a different type of drill each week for an hour or something like that. It could be a fun family exercise if you do it properly. But it doesn't have to be something of the doomsday prepper nature where you're getting all fully gowned up in your hazmat suit and running uh, pandemic drills several times a week and trying to improve your time every time. I mean, you can do that, but you don't have to do that. And don't do that if that's not your family's preference. As long as you're not overly aggressive with your prepping, as long as you're not bankrupting your family, as long as you're not really getting out there in conspiracy land, making predictions, never believe predictions. Like the Guy McPherson interview I did, you know, it gets you thinking about the possibilities of something like that, but don't start planning your life around a, a prediction. So it can work, man. It really can work with somebody who is absolutely not a prepper at all, but don't do what the guy on, I think it was Doomsday Preppers, what he did. They had one which was like a dating episode and he decided that he was going to take this girl for their first date, who she wasn't a prepper, obviously, and he was full blown. He bought this missile silo for like a buck, I guess one of the ones that the government abandoned and he bought it and he was going to make this into, you know, a big bunker. And so he decided to take her there for the first date and told her all about his plans of wanting to live there and all the rest. <laughs> That's a big no, no, man. You know, you're not going to, you're not going to find uh, uh, a sensible woman like that. And really, would you want somebody who, was so naive and so quick to just be like, yeah, we should do this. You know, you would want somebody who was a bit more skeptical and, and critically minded than that. Cause in the long run, in an SHTF situation, you don't want just somebody who's gonna tag along. You want somebody who's gonna help you make decisions and fill in the weak points of your psyche. Sometimes you have to be the bigger person, be more than the hero, like Batman says, you gotta be the person who, even though they might not see the, the validity of prepping, even if you have to do it in semi-secret or in the sense where you really keep it down in the down low, you don't push it in people's face, as long as you are prepared, you as like the main you know steward of your family, 
as long as you are ready, then that's you're putting yourself in a much better situation than being than nobody in your family being ready at all. So it's a harm reduction type approach to things. And yes, it would be nice if everybody was fully versed in prepping and survivalism, but that's just not a reality that you want to shove down people's throats. In spite of the fact that what we talk about is a very real possibility and that civilization, civilization does hang by a thread and we hang in a delicate balance and the veneer of civility is very thin, you still should keep a level head with how you approach other people about it and how you let it dictate where your life goes in all the various ways it could go. Because you don't want something like that impacting your career. You know, you got to put food on the table and you got to do all those practical things that go into being a parent and all the rest. So don't let it mess you up in that regard. Now, with respect to my overworking and her own issues, which I haven't even addressed, you'll notice that I'm not making all the big toe criticisms that a lot of people would make in this instance. I'm not not taking responsibility because you know I'm gonna be honest I made a video a couple weeks ago which was pretty ranty like that and I decided not to post it because I figure it's not gonna do me a whole lot of good you know and I don't think it's gonna do uh, anybody else a lot of good either for me to just say well don't get in a relationship because it's gonna end badly because I don't believe that's the case I think that you have to take responsibility for the situation you got yourself into and never speak with absolution, especially when it comes to people. Because you don't know. Uh, people call them unicorns. But, I mean, you're, you've been surrounded by this culture your whole life. There's a whole other world out there of mail order brides and such. Just kidding. But there is a whole other world of people who are not steeped in the same cultural hegemony that we are steeped in and perhaps they have a perspective which is more compatible with you so you know i mean and that doesn't mean you necessarily even have to leave the country because there's a lot of people uh, who are who have immigrated here from other countries who have uh, different values which perhaps are more compatible with yours but to go blaming an entire sex uh, for the decision that you made to get involved with somebody is irresponsible and I don't think that really gets you anywhere. So that's just my thoughts on that. What are your thoughts on this? What do you think about prepping and relationships? What do you think about the compatibility of preppers and non-preppers? Do you think, like I'm saying, that it's something which can work so long as you're not being too overzealous about it? Or do you think that it's something that is doomed to failure because inevitably maybe it's going to consume more of your life than it needs to. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out.